In this video, we'll go over how to create a CD DVD label for silkscreen printing. In silkscreen printing, all the graphic elements is created by vectors, and the color is chosen from a Pantone color book. In this example, we'll be using Adobe Illustrator, and we'll also be using the Pantone color swatch book. The Pantone color that shows up on Illustrator is very different from what it actually would appear on print. So we would recommend to actually get a swatch book so you can look at the color on actual swatch before you put it on the artwork. Um, the color on the screen is not accurate, so you, won't, you shouldn't be using that as a reference. Uh, you can get the color swatch book in, online or in a lot of the art store, um, so it should be pretty easy. So we have the DVD CD label template here, and um, we're just going to create a real simple one to just show you uh, of, of the basic workflow here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to um, just put a background color for the disc. So I'm just going to lay out a plain color here. Um, it doesn't really matter what color it is right now. We're going to go ahead and change it. So we're going to go to the swatch palette right here and click on the arrow and here you have the option of open a swatch library and the swatch library we're going to be using is the Pantone solid coda which is most commonly used for disc printing there's a lot of other um, color books available and we're going to go ahead and select the solid coda and um, here you'll see a lot of different colors that are available in the color book so Again, here, this is where you will go to the swatch book to look up the color that you want, and then you'll end up finding it here. So I'm going to use a dark gray tone for my background, and uh, it is the Cool Gray 11C. And here, I'm going to find it right about here. So once you find the color you want, go ahead and just click on it. And once you click on it, you will notice that it's been added to the swatches palette and you can easily assess it later on. While I'm here, I'm going to also select a color for my text, for my title. And I'm going to use a lighter gray tone, uh, something like a, a cool gray 2C. So I'm going to click on that. And again, it's been added to my palette here, my swatch palette. So that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I'm going to go back to my background here. I'm going to actually assign it with the Cool Gray 11C. So I'm going to click on that. And you see the background has been painted with that color. The next thing I'm going to do is to type my title. And it doesn't really matter what color it is right now. We are going to reassign it later on. So here's my title, and after that, I'm going to select the Cool Gray 2C, and now it has been assigned. If you have any other elements, vector shapes, logos, any other lo uh, text, small text, uh, any other information, everything needs to be assigned with a PMS color um, in order for it to be still screened. So you would go through the same step until all the elements have been covered. And this is how you would create a silkscreen CD DVD label.